we're back. And uh, we just got through talking about Dark Avengers, which was, you know, kind of a mixed bag. Um, entertaining, but in today's economy, I don't know if I'd be shutting out three ninety nine every month. Uh, Mighty Avengers is Dan Slott's debut taking over this title. Um, Bendis will no longer be writing it. I, although, I, why? I'm just curious as to why. Why, why wouldn't Bendis just write all the Avengers books? You know, I mean, can Bendis really not handle? No. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying the guy well, writes. Do you want all three everything. Avengers books to be awful? Because they will be. <laughs> okay. Point. Uh, Dan Slott writes Mighty Avengers. This actually, I don't know if it was because we saw vision and stature in the first few pages. This really felt like a young Avengers story, which I really enjoyed. Young mm -hmm. Avengers. And then um, you bring back the Scarlet Witch, and it sets up basically another origin of yet another Avengers team. Which, well, the um, whole the whole issue is is again just kind of like Dark Avengers, where it's the team getting together. Right. But I found this much more interesting. Yeah, it it, it was it was an interesting take. Um, it's a, more of a classic team that's mm -hmm. being put together. Um, I'm having a hard time figuring out how you're going to reconcile the Mighty Avengers and the New Avengers and the freaking Dark Avengers. This, this whole Avengers thing is getting really, to me, kind of convoluted, just like the X books are, yeah. which is really annoying. Uh, but beyond that, this was an enjoyable read. I really like Dan Slott's, um, Dan Slott's take on the characters. Like uh, someone had commented on our boards a while back, Dan Slott just gets it. He gets mm -hmm. the characters. This is a much more lighthearted read, a little bit easier to deal with. Um, I, I'm a wee bit confused here with what's going on um, with, with uh, the different characters and how different uh, situations are occurring, but I'm sure they'll be, you know, explained as it goes. I, 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 I have faith in slot there. And it's only three part. And it's a three. Six yes, like, you know, I know a three parter, a three parter as opposed to six. Nice. Um, so I liked it overall, but then I guess the big drawback to this book was the art. Man, the art is terrible. This new guy, Koi, Koi Fam, 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 Koi Fam. This is one of Marvel's new young guns for this year. God, this guy is terrible. He did some issues of Mighty Avengers uh -huh. during the Secret Invasion. I mean, this guy is like the Tony Daniel of the Marvel universe. <laughs> you know. I mean, it is, it, it is really awful, and it doesn't do the writing justice at all. It's funny you should mention Tony Daniel, because I am look, just looking at this page here, and it really does evoke the feel of Tony Daniel. I mean, yeah, we just want to vomit when you're looking uh, at the pages. Because, I mean, I'm looking at the first few pages, and you can tell if it, the, the book feels... Um, his pencils start really um, to be very detailed, but as it progresses, yeah. um, things get really, you know... Get a lot more headshots, which is a sign that he's got a, you know, he's trying to keep up with his deadline. Mm -hmm. um, the backgrounds get really simplified. It just, you know, the the storytelling isn't terribly dynamic, yeah. and um, it's just not turning me on. And for a book that's supposed to be one of the premier books, the one of the books that you know what I'm going to be paying top dollar for it. I know we said we weren't going to talk about prices anymore. I knew um, you would. Yeah, but uh, but it's just not... This isn't... To me, I'm sorry, this isn't a top-level book. This isn't a top-level book. The writing book. is. The, the writing art, is. The, the art is not. not. No, no. no. Um, this is certainly not Steve McNiven. This is not, you know, Brian Hitch. This is not, you know, a top-level ri artist right now. You know, all respect to uh, Mr. Fom here because, hey, you know... I'll, I could never pencil an Avengers book. I'll respect them for that. But, you know, it's just not top tier. Maybe he'll get there at some point, but he's not there now. Uh, but beyond that, I, I'm afraid that even as much as I enjoyed Mighty Avengers, I don't like the direction that the Avengers in general are going. It's just getting a li getting to be a little much. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the Marvel keeps going back to the same well over and over again with Avengers. Yes, the, the Avengers reboot with uh, New Avengers went over like gangbusters and people loved it. Although, essentially, it was just, you know, hey, let's put Wolverine in the book and people will buy it. 
Um, I want my old Avengers back, and Mighty this, Avengers is not it. This feels like, to me, this feels more of an Avengers book than any of the other Avengers book have in years, to tell you the truth. Mm. Because the team itself is kind of is very reminiscent of the team that I liked back in the West Coast Avengers when I was reading West Coast Avengers. Okay, and this, Avengers. you know what, there you go. This is West Coast Avengers to me. And I liked West Coast Avengers. Yeah. Um, and in some ways, I thought yeah. that was a better book when Vern was doing it. Yeah. But, um, I mean, you have the Hulk, uh, Scarlet Witch, and Division back together on the same team. Yeah, but U.S. Disney. Agent. Uh, well, U.S. Agent is the poor man's substitute uh, for... But, it'll, I, but you know what? Again, Dan Slott gets it. And I have faith in Dan Slott. And there's got to be a reason why he's gonna US, He's using U.S. Agent right. instead of Bucky. And I'm actually interested to see what he's going to do. Okay. But otherwise, I mean, you have Hank Pym and the Hulk. Uh, Jarvis is back. And I, I just, I don't know. Yeah. I liked it. Uh, I'm interested in the team, the dynamic, and I'm just interested in seeing what Slot's going to do with it. Okay. Uh, I know what's happening here, though. It's going to... I can call it... I'm calling it right now. In about a year or so, um, Joe Quesada is going to make the announcement that the, the cry in the Marvel Universe... It has been answered. We're giving you your Avengers back. We're, we're, they're going to bring back Captain America, Iron Man, all of them. They're going to do that. Just like, remember for the longest time when the Justice League was everyone but mm-hmm. Wonder, Man, Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, and that was all fine and dandy. I'm not, no, you know, nothing bad about all those other incarnations of the Justice League. But they're just holding that off, holding that off. They're giving us all these other iterations of the Avengers team so they can do the big, you know, reunion at some point. And you know what? That's when they'll get me back. That's when they'll get me well, back. Well, it's going to be at least another year. At least. Whenever this new um, new crossover takes place. But I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, you know what? I've got time. I can wait. I'll wait for the trade on those two. When we get back, we'll talk about Thunderbolts and the interesting, to me, very interesting appearance by a certain very popular character in this book that actually took me completely by surprise. We'll see you then.